Hello and welcome to Fan's House on the main street in Fecal County Clare. Located in this beautiful East Clare village, you can see how all the homes and the main street presents a real fabulous rural village setting while being very convenient to all the amenities that East Clare provides along with Ennis Town Centre, Shannon, Limerick and Galway. Fecal provides excellent amenities in its own right with a nice convenience store, you have your public houses, school, church and of course an abundance of the countryside, lakes, rivers and country laneways and forest lands to be enjoyed. So let's take a look at this fantastic two-bedroom mid-terraced home completely refurbished in the heart of this really beautiful village. So on entering the main entrance hallway, you can see that the quality tiled flooring and your feature stairs, which leads to your first floor. The first floor is where all the accommodation is pretty much uh, situated in this home. So a bit different in the sense that it's a house that's kind of a little bit turned upside down. So you have your entrance hall, as I say, you have plenty of storage underneath the staircase here. And this connecting door leads to the utility. And again, very smartly presented, very nicely finished. And this has the modern base units. You have your ample work surfaces. You can see all the modern, how modern the house is, I should say, and the work that has gone into it. Um, this was a self refurbishment. So the owner of the property is the, are the people that actually refurbished it. It was their own hands that did the works here. So it has been done to a very, very high standard. And through this window, You'll get a great better feel for when I come back down the stairs. We'll do all the interior accommodation first and then I'll come down and I will take a walk out that side door here as I come in. So we'll be going out that side door, uh, door closer to the end of the video once I have completed the inside. But just off the utility, straight ahead of me here is into the boiler room and that tile floor continues into there. So it acts as, a, as an additional storage if you need it. Uh, but as we go around, you'll see that you certainly don't need any more storage in this because it's very spacious and there's plenty of that, particularly out here. Um, nothing to stop you building the, what I see in some houses, they've built in the this kind of shoe drawer units, uh, cloakroom and so on. Uh, and again, it's a nice way of kind of making use of a space that's useless otherwise. So we'll take a peek at the first floor and all of the accommodation that it has up here. Now, as we arrive up here, really nicely out, you have the solid oak timber flooring here. That's continued right along your first floor, except for the kitchen area and the bathroom. So you have your styrus stairs, a nice little surprise awaits when we head up there. Um, and I'll leave that for another bit on the video, we won't go putting it down just now. So into the main reception, into kitchen and into dining. And look at this for a fab room and look at the detail that the owner has gone into. Not sure if you can appreciate the plaster work that has been done on the video, but it's this slightly waved plaster. So it kind of goes with the whole character of the house. Um, you know, this was one of the older houses along the main street, completely refurbished. So the owner has made sure that as much character has been retained as possible. The vaulted ceiling with the timber clad finishes, the open heart bricks around fireplace has the solid fuel stove integrated. So really, really nice space to spend in the evening. The wall paneling, you can see the half and half timber wall paneling. And of course, this is open plan into your very, very modern fitted kitchen with the traditional um, touches you know it has the kind of vertical uh, presses the or design in the presses I should say it has your tile splashbacks around the timber countertop again trying to keep with the, tra with the traditional feel for what this house really is and that traditional feel you'll, fe you'll see all the way around as you as you when you visit this property simple things like your sash windows the exposed stone at the front the rough plaster work, the high ceilings, it really gives you 
that old world charm, but with all the modern luxuries that you would expect in a house today. So what a nice room this is. You can see there's recessed lighting overhead. You have a nice light fitting here positioned in the center of the room. And once again, just to give you a look at that kitchen, open plan into the dining area. And of course you have that amazing open fire. It's just, it's a real wow factor room. And again, something that you'd appreciate much better when you actually come to see it in person. So coming back out of the main room, or into that main bathroom. And again, you can see all the upgrades that were done here. All the sanitary wear, top quality fixtures and fittings, good quality tile work. You have two showers in here. You have one, which is overhead the shower tray. And then you have a second, which is overhead the bath. So the pump shower is the one overhead the uh, walk into shower and the electric is the one overhead the panel bath. Back into the hallway and into the two double bedrooms. And you can see again, as I mentioned already, that floor that continues right the way through. You can probably see a little bit of a glimpse of the garden, which we'll take a look at earlier. You can see the depth, that gray line going across the top. That's how far the garden goes back to. So a real luxury for the, for the middle of a village living. A fine big site indeed. Then we're into the master bedroom here. And this is, I'm, just to make sure I don't get myself in the camera shot of the mirror in the in the wardrobe door. So, sorry about that, to avoid you seeing me, I'll move around ever so slightly to present this room. And again, you can see the solid oak flooring. Look at that for a size room. And don't forget, there's a wardrobe here to my right. It's a mirrored door, so I'm staying well clear of it. And that, of course, has the wonderful view onto that rear garden that you see below, nicely gated. Little peek at the neighbors, we shouldn't be doing that, but anyway, you can see how amazing they have done their garden, um, giving you a nice indication as to the people living there. So we'll take a look at that attic room that I was talking about earlier. And as I say, it is an attic space, but what one makes of it when they move into it is their own business. But this is a very, very smart space up here. So we'll head into this room above. So look how well the owner has finished this space. This has the oak style timber flooring. You have plenty of working sockets, electrical sockets I should say. Your Velux windows, you have additional storage here to the left hand side. And indeed you have double connecting doors here to the right into further storage as well. So it would make an ideal office space. Um, but again, as I say, we're, rate, we're class, classing this as attic and what one makes of it when they come in is of course entirely up to you but you can see this is done to a similar standard to the rest of the house. So as I arrive back to the ground floor level we'll take a look at this space outside that I mentioned when we come into and this is part of the property. You have you're probably wondering what that roller shutter door was out the front well this is what it was about. Um, you have your roller shutter door which leads into this fast garage that adjoins the property and you have another roller shutter door here. Uh, to be clear the neighbour to as I look out here so the neighbour to my right is has a right of way for the purposes of their oil or fuel delivery or whatever it is um, or neighbour conveniences if you like um, but the you know you can park your car in here um, but a fantastic, fantastic space. And this leads you, of course, right out into the back garden. You can see little touches like the, the outdoor door tap, excuse me, the pun, it's actually indoor, but it's again, nice. So it's, you, you, it won't freeze in the winter, it shouldn't anyway. You have outdoor socket here to the right hand side uh, for all your electrical streaming or whatever you want to do. And of course, then you have this nice yard area with the gate here leading out into that a fantastic tree bound garden. And that runs right up to that block wall above. So really, really nice outdoor space. And again, back into that, through that roller shutter door that's open to let me through. And that roller shutter door here out onto the front 
and then back into the house and don't forget the utility here to my right hand side and the stairs here to the first floor. So very, very nice flow indeed. Uh, overall, this home truly is in turnkey condition. The finishes are to be are a true credit to the current owner. That room above is absolutely a brilliant addition to the house. Your two double bedrooms here to the left, main bathroom here straight in front of me, and of course into this amazing open plan living space. So if you would like further information on this really smart two bedroom home in the heart of Fecal Village, please feel free to call us on 065-684-0200 or email us info at dngosullivanhurley.com. Thank you very much for watching.